Okay, so first thing with this good soup is we're gonna start off with seaweed. You can find this stuff at pretty much any Asian store, right? And it's gonna come in this dried form, usually in packaging that you will not be able to read. What we're gonna do here is we're just gonna take the seaweed. Also, it would be known as a kombu. You'll probably find it at Whole Foods, stuff like that. Anyways, you take your kombu and we're just gonna take like, I don't know, like half of this guy. I'd call it four ounces worth. And then, <laughs> we still have the sticker on this pot. We're in the brand new studio, if you can't tell. So everything's brand new. So I've had this soaking in cold water for about 45 minutes. It's been around 45 minutes. So you just wanna like let it sort of soak in here. It's a very gentle process. And then we'll just take it over the heat and then we're gonna bring that up to a simmer. And then once that brings up to a simmer, we'll turn the heat off. Okay, so check it out. This is already gonna start to come to a boil here. Kombu's been going for around 15 minutes because I started with cold water. So you make sure to let it sit in there, cold water, 45 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever. Bring that up to a boil. And once that starts to come up to a boil, we're gonna take our Bonita Flakes and some sort of sieve strainer like this, fine mesh strainer. Let me get these ready here. Do, let's call it two cups of Bonito Flakes. And same thing, you find these the same store that you found the kombu at. This is uh, just, you know, fermented dried tuna. These are also really good on other things. I've done videos like Okonomiyaki where I finished it with the uh, Bonito, in case you don't know what Bonito is. Okay, so over here, we're still going. We were just standing here staring at the pot waiting for it to boil <laughs> finally okay so once that comes to a boil we're gonna remove the kombu and also this don't throw this away do not throw this away you can reuse it and also you can dry this up and fry it and it'll be a nice tasty chip snack it's really good but i'll save that for another video comment down below if you want to see that so now i've got my bonito let's drop this in we're gonna let this go for like 30 seconds 30 45 seconds all right so this is why we want to do it in a mesh strainer because we want to easily remove this and now we're left with what's called dash this is a type of stock here. This we can throw away. Now we'll set our dashi aside. We can chill this off completely and hold it for when we need it for other things. I'll just set this aside for now. Okay, so so when it comes to the uh, filling, right? Typically in America, they serve it with tofu and seaweed, right? But in Japan, they do anything because they drink this stuff daily, right? So they'll change it up, you know, do potatoes or some sort of bacon or whatever, you know, play around with it is what I'm saying. So I'm gonna probably do some scallions for the filling. I got something else. What was it? Shrooms. I'll do some scallions and then I'll do some maitake mushrooms. These are my favorite. I love these. So for the maitakes, I'm just going to roast them off hard. Also, if you don't have these fancy mushrooms, you could just use whatever mushrooms or use whatever filling, just like I said. Just cover that in some oil, salt, pepper into the oven. Oh yeah, and over here I've got that kombu drying out. Because like I said, it could make a tasty snack. Ah, it's hot. It's so hot. Okay, so now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my dashi, and like I said, you can have this chilled off in the fridge and just pour it in from wherever. Uh, mine's already hot, so. I've got about a quart of dashi in here, and then I've got white miso paste. Not your typical, but it's good. I'm gonna do about a fourth cup of the miso in there. Now you wanna make sure that this is already hot before you add the miso, because we don't wanna bring this up to a boil with the miso in it. That will ruin the flavor of the miso itself. Now I might season this with a touch of soy sauce. Give it some added umame. That's good soup, that's good. All right, there's our little shroomy shrooms. Get some scallions. All right, dude, what bowl today? Should we do the cat? Should we do the cats? Should we do Shoda's fancy looking bowl? Or this regular white? I'm kind of leaning towards two cats, right? Yeah. Some maitake shroom in there. Scallion. Maybe some more black pepper. Everything has stickers in here today. <laughs> it's like the everything cake thing, but everything's stickers. We're in the new studio, so everything's new. Anyways, there's our miso. Look, you gotta give it a stir before you serve it. You see that? You always gotta give it a little stir, you stir. That looks so comforting. I love miso soup. So good, usually before a meal. There we go, beautiful miso soups. That looks really good. You wanna try it out now? There you go, now it's for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. I love to just do it like this too. That's nice. I, I like changing up the filling, honestly. It's nice. Mm, good soup, very good. Here, try it out. Mm. Comforting, right? Mm -hmm. There you go, miso soup. Let us know what we should do next. Thinking maybe pozole or soup dumplings. I don't know, let us know. Uh, good soup, smash like, subscribe.